People who enter this country's high-security hospitals are among the most notorious members of society. Think Ian Brady, Dale Cregan, Peter Sutcliffe. There's a perception that they're locked up and never recover, but with the Ministry of Justice considering moving Peter Sutcliffe from Broadmoor Hospital back to prison, as he's no longer deemed to be mentally unwell, we thought you might appreciate a closer look at what goes on. Our correspondent Michael Buchanan's been given access to Ashworth High Security Hospital in Merseyside. His guide for the day was Ashley Power, a former patient. A lot of the perceptions about here is that people are, not, are never going to get out. So this was used as a punishment for me. It was like if someone was kicking off on a wing in a prison, and he'd be like, you do that again, we'll send you high secure. Despite his fears, Ashley Power knew he had to go to Ashworth. Well, I actually begged to come here because I knew I needed help and there was no help anywhere. And if the help wasn't given to me at that point, then I would have lost my life. The self-harm got to a point where they used mechanical restraints on me um, to stop me from doing it. It's called a body belt, so it's like a weightlifting belt with handcuffs and you're cuffed to yourself. Convicted of robbery and burglary, the 31-year-old had been moved around 26 prisons. He says himself he was unmanageable. He was assessed by psychiatrists at Ashworth, who agreed to treat him. What's striking about walking around the grounds at Ashworth is how calm and still it all is. There are green fields, football pitch, there are low-slung buildings, exercise machines. In many ways, it's got a feel of a retirement complex to it. Only the garden area is fenced off and there's a huge security wall around the entire complex. Did you get out much into these grounds? Yeah, well, I, I went out most days. Uh, to go to my workshop, uh, over into the therapy suites. There's a tennis court on the bottom side and the basketball court on the bottom side as well. Five side football? There's a full, full size pitch at the back. That's probably the most um, used thing actually, because it's a full game with um, uh, the referee. What must be quite scary as it kicks off. It, it, I'd never seen it kick off and I played twice a week for nearly three years. Everything is risk assessed before it starts. So if someone gets my leg, they try to stop anything happening before it's happened. High profile convicts like Moore's murderer Ian Brady, who has spent decades here, give the impression that no one ever leaves high security hospitals. Most patients actually do return to prison. The average length of stay at Ashworth is currently about five and a half years, half as long as it was a decade ago. Ashley spent nearly four years here. It would probably have been longer if it hadn't been for a phone call from his father. And they told me how a, a child should outlive a parent and not the other way around. And that moment, I don't know, it's like a switch just went in my head. It was like, this, is, this needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Up to that point, Ashley says he had a reckless disregard for his own life and has the scars across his body to prove it. He started to cooperate, however, and slowly his health improved. Medication helped, but putting faith in the staff, he says, was the key. What do they do to make you trust them? Treat me like a human being, which wasn't done before in, in the other systems. Yeah, and showing compassion to someone. Showing care, time, giving time to someone. The treatment was intensive. At one point, eight nurses spent a month dedicated solely to caring for Ashley, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Such care isn't cheap. Each of the 200 or so patients at Ashworth cost, on average, £175,000 a year, about four times the cost of keeping someone in prison. If this place wasn't here, I wouldn't be here now. So it's putting a price, that would be putting a price on my life by taking that money away for that patient. Without that 175,000 that paid for my bed, I wouldn't be here today, and that's, that's a fact. You, you wouldn't be here, as in you wouldn't be alive? I wouldn't be alive, no. There are no official figures for how many former patients of high security hospitals have managed to rebuild their lives. But Ashley's complete recovery is impressive. He has a flat, a partner, and his own company. As he says himself, Ashworth saved his life. I love my life. To think of where I was all them years ago, you know, felt in a hole that I'd never get out. And now I'm, I've come out of the hole. I built a little mountain on top of it and I'm standing on top waving down at everyone. Ashley Power talking to Michael Buchanan.